the world of academia, there is pressure. Pressure, pressure, pressure. And as my boss always says to me, pressure is good because it turns carbon into diamond. He happens to be a physicist, so we take it with a pinch of salt. Uh, but it's true. Pressure is very important. And I love this little uh, 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 comic strip. So here's our professor. You recognize him from earlier on, and he's complaining. Ugh, we have this thing in academia called publish or perish. You know, it's people like me that chase the academics and say, come on, go write a paper, go write a paper. And uh, they complain about it. Uh, but then the lady here in the right responds, oh, yes, we have that too. It's called do your job or get fired. <laughs> but you will have pressure to publish. You will have pressure. You will have pressure to get your thesis done quickly, etc., etc. Um, it's all part of the world that we live in. Okay. And I just want to share two more concepts with you before we get going on the real writing proposals. One, I guess this is addressed more to the staff members. So see your student as being more than just a brain, okay? <laughs> They're not just a brain on a stick. They do have aspirations and dreams and hopes and, <laughs> and, and whatnot. So please do remember that, okay? <laughs> uh, now, what's that got to do? Research is like fine wine. So this is especially for our Cape Town visitors. No, no. So I believe this. It's not my analogy, but uh, it's got a lot, of, a lot of things that gel for me. Doing research is similar to growing grapes, harvesting them, and making wine. Go with me on that analogy. The next step then is bottling the wine. That's like writing the research article. Okay, so a lot of us like growing the grapes and squashing the juice out, but not quite so like in actually writing the article. But it's important. You've got to put it in the bottle. Okay. The journal puts a label on it. That's like a stamp of quality. I, I'm not a <laughs> wine drinker, but I believe if you go to the bottle store and you get the right bottle, the label means a lot. You know, if it comes from a good wine uh, farm, then it's, you think it's really good. It tells you nothing actually about the quality of the wine, but if it's a good label, then it's probably good. So, you know, if you publish in Nature or um, Farmers Weekly, you know, that makes a big difference between the, uh, about the quality of your work, yeah? Uh, the archivist stores it safely in the wine cellar. So the librarian, the archivist, takes the journal article, puts it on the shelf, eh? or now electronically, etc., etc. That's what happens with wine as well in the cellar. But is that good enough? Is that the end of the story? No. Okay, I think you'll agree. You have to open up that bottle and drink it to be in, enjoy it. And so by doing knowledge transfer, in our case, writing the paper is not enough because perhaps only academics will read that paper. And in many cases, only very few people, few academics will read the paper. There is also a responsibility for us to take that knowledge to people, whoever is interested. So, you know, it's not just a case of writing that paper, that thesis. Um, my thesis was read besides the external examiners by one other person, and that was my mother, and she didn't understand a word of it. So don't let that happen to you. Take your knowledge to people that will be interested in it. Uh -huh.